Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, our little town here is brimming with activity because of the Memorial Day parade that is going on. And these gentlemen here are, I'm assuming, part of the parade. Um, we have some veterans here. Um, and I'm going to ask this man, excuse me, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, would you like to tell us what Memorial Day means to you? Well, yes, I would be happy to. Memorial Day is, is a time that we set aside to remember our loved ones, uh, especially the military, but all loved yeah. ones uh, that have gone before us. And it's a time to just reflect uh, the patriotism of our country and uh, That's right. just go from there. And you are a veteran? I am a veteran. Navy retired in 1995. Well, we thank you and uh, God bless all you gentlemen. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. So, anyway, um, I am making this video because I want to clarify what um, Memorial Day means to me. I used to be a chaplain in a nursing home, and I had the honor and the heartbreak of working with men who gave their lives for this country. Their families just had not buried them yet. Um, I guess some people took me wrong because I worked with people from World, one soldier from World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, Korea, and um, Af um, not Afghanistan, Desert Storm. Um, a lot of people took me wrong because I said that I was anti-war. It did not mean by any means that I am against my country. I am not against my country. I love my country. Um, my sister has not talked to me since 1999 other than to throw food in my face because she said I was unpatriotic. When her son joined the Air Force in 1999, uh, my kid told him, well, now you'll have to kill babies. So she disowned me. Okay, even though she's an army deserter. <laughs> yeah, she went AWOL from Fort Gordon, Georgia. She's an army deserter, so, but I'm unpatriotic. <laughs> Go figure. I just, I am not against this country. I just believe that peace is preferable to war and love is better than hate. Vietnam, I think, was unnecessary. Um, but World War II... My grandfather, he was a McCoy. He, um, his name was Raymond. He was one of the first soldiers to help liberate one of the death camps in World War II. I don't remember what death camp it actually was. Uh, I'm walking up here on the hill. But anyway, uh, he was 39 years old and he enlisted when he heard what Hitler was doing. He voluntarily enlisted because he only had one year left to where he could go into the service just so he could help. And that, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. And my Uncle John Kraus, he um, was a sergeant in Vietnam and his uh, Jeep ran over a landmine and he died. Um, so we want to thank him. But that is what we're doing today. We're honoring these people. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not against war. There are sometimes, like I just told that gentleman, sometimes a crummy choice is better than no choice at all. Um, Hitler needed to be stopped, just like the Taliban now needs to be stopped. Uh, so sometimes it is necessary but I think Vietnam was just the sacrifice of thousands of wonderful men and boys from this country and it should have never happened but anyway that is what Memorial Day means to me I'm honoring my uncle and my grandfather and like I said the many men that I work with in the nursing homes who gave their lives for this country but their families just haven't buried them yet so anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial Day and...
God bless you guys, and God bless America. And even though America may have its shortcomings, may have its faults, we are still free in this country to open a Bible if we want to. We are not living behind walls and barbed wire, and women are allowed to speak. I don't have to have my head covered in public. I will not get stoned in this country for... I will not get stoned in this country for speaking out the way I'm speaking now. So, America is the best game in town. So, just remember that whenever you want to gripe about taxes and you want to gripe about this country's shortcomings, just remember that. Remember the liberties that you have today. God bless you all. Bye.